It's one o'clock in the morning at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve and one of the nocturnal predators is out and about foraging for food. Although many people consider this arthropod or segmented creature to be a millipede, it is actually a dorso-ventrally flattened centipede and a centipede such as this is actually a predator. The millipede is a detritivore, so it eats rotting detritus or vegetation. So it's pretty much what some people would call a herbivore. Whereas this centipede is actually a carnivore. Because of its unusual flattened shape, it can very easily fit into tight crevices and catch insects such as crickets and cockroaches and fish moths and various other creatures that can hide more easily. Uh, this is a large creature. It's longer than my finger. And finding a specimen this big is very unusual in this area. Although it cannot clearly be seen at night, during the daytime, if it is discovered hiding beneath a rock or rotting log, it will quickly scurry beneath any cover to get away from a possible predator such as a bird. Meerkats will commonly dig these up and eat them as well. But because many centipedes do actually have venom, predators such as meerkats will first drag the centipede along the ground to try and break up the biting jaws. They also drag millipedes along the ground, but that is to wipe off the nasty chemical secretions that millipedes have. So it's not for the same reason, although it may look similar. Of course, the centipede only has a few legs compared to the millipede, which has many more. In Afrikaans, a centipede is known as a honert poet, or a hundred legs, and a millipede is a decent poet, a thousand legs. So that's quite an easy way to remember it. A millipede is also known as sabokulodi in Tswana and a shongololo in Zulu. Interestingly, the name shongololo is also a name given to kudu in Swahili. Now, this particular centipede has aposmatic or warning markings, which are bright black and red. Clearly, it indicates to any would-be predator or attacker that it is very, very dangerous. Ah, there we go. It may have seemed to be completely immobile, but that little insect just flying past suddenly alerted it, and its antenna at the front here were moving. Usually during the daytime, these creatures are so, so fast that they are seldom seen for more than a few seconds before they run off into cover or, in fact, attack. I myself have been bitten by one as a young child. It is an excruciatingly painful bite. Fortunately, the one I was bitten by obviously didn't have serious venom. But there are some that have bright markings on them with rings and stripes, which are apparently very, very venomous. And here we can actually see the centipede in action as it moves along hunting. Interestingly, it has almost a strange caliper-like appendage at the back, a clasp. Here we can see the centipede with its bright red and orange and black markings more clearly from this angle and its many segments.